This morning, Metro's Finance Committee laid out a grim future to Metro's board, basically saying that unless something is done, the transit system will run a $750 million operating budget deficit in 2025. And the only way to resolve that will be with either massive cuts to rail and bus service or Maryland, D.C. and Virginia stepping up. Uh, the region that we know today, in my opinion, does not exist with these cuts. So anyone that doesn't use Metro that drives a car, their life went to total misery with traffic. Everyone that relies on Metro will not be able to rely on it in the future. Metro's leaders sounding the alarm Thursday. The transit system is at a crossroads. There is no one solution that's going to fix this. During the meeting, Metro's financial team laid out the $750 million problem. Next year, federal pandemic relief money dries up. At the same time, during the pandemic, Metro gave back around $196 million to D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. There's also inflation, which has driven up costs to the tune of $266 million, and a decline in ridership makes up the rest. We are an agency that runs service. We either fund the service or we don't run the service. After the meeting, GM Randy Clark explained in detail that Metro gets its money from fares, and the rest comes from D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. So to plug the deficit, it will either take massive cuts to services, or the DMV leaders will need to step in and further fund Metro. This is the clarion call now to really bring everyone to the table. One of the questions that did come up was whether or not reducing fare evasions could close the deficit, but the Finance Committee members came back with numbers saying that it was roughly only $20 million that they would be able to get from reducing fare evasions. In Southwest, outside of WMATA headquarters, I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.